This is just to demonstrate what was done with my headphones equipment when, you know, for obvious reasons, right? Why they would do the stuff like this. Two other headphones, I cannot find them right now. Um, I might have thrown them away, took them to the car. I have no idea, but I do have a deals to prove them. Uh, purchased them just prior to arrival here to this place were destroyed within like I don't know a week or so both of them at once basically uh, this was uh, then the third one I bought it was destroyed on this was destroyed like on a second day of purchase uh, and it was destroyed in front of the individual who is inside of this room. This is an old Ukrainian. He's from Ukraine. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of stuff going on in Ukraine. Uh, it's all kinds of issues that, go, that goes on. Uh, you have Chocolate King Poroshenko over there who was involved in this stuff since 1996-1997 in Miami. And you have all kinds of other issues too going. Not that I would have any kind of anti-Ukrainian sentiments going. It's exactly the opposite. I think I that I contributed more than what Poroshenko or any other individual in Ukraine did for the Ukraine. Because I was also the only journalist for the price of psychiatric hospitalizations inside of the Slovenia who have dared to have spoken about not only about oil purchases from Germany but who gave the equipment to the Russia and how the Ukraine is not asking for any kind of weaponry and stuff like this uh, miraculously falling apart Crimea and Donetsk and so on so it's all kinds of issues going on there's a lot of politicians you have to understand Ukrainian politicians alone uh, that feel maybe that I shouldn't be doing what I do you know, it's not only Putin, it's not only this, it's a lot of issues that go around. It's a lot of stuff that goes around. This uh, individual is a criminal. This criminal is was presented to me like a coordinator for all Ukrainians in these hostels. Like all the MK Ultras that in Ukraine that he was the one who would coordinate it, contacted people, keep in touch with them so they would not forget about me now the reality and it's why i use the word criminal is completely different the reality is that what you are about to see was this headphones were destroyed in front of his nose for what i was told that not this i was not told but under mk ultra he gestured that if i would not have a racist views I would be fit for the Africa if my views would change in this and that that he's gonna call me Jaja and stuff like this Jaja is the man from Africa uh, and he did so I think he did this for some other purposes I think that he wanted to depict me to the public uh, as bigot as a liar as non-authentic he preceded this with gesture that he would never sleep in the room with the Russians because Russians stink. All the shit is audio recorded. So I have actually physical proofs for my claims. Um, for that matter, he gestured me that if I would say something against uh, agree or something like this, understood or stuff like this, that he would... Uh, that. I would be revealed as a racist and so on and this kind of bullshit and then that he need to do the bad stuff to me with the other roommate who already disappeared and they, they did bad stuff and there was another couple here from Ukraine who did another two Ukrainians who did problems um, that they need this kind of stuff so they wouldn't look like they're doing something you know that it would trigger attention from the government that uh, they're engaging in some kind of illegal stuff they have to cover their ass basically for their testimonies and stuff like this it's all bullshit 
it's all a lie is what it is uh ukrainian couple that was here that tortured in Dnipetrovsk also they're from zaporozhye would give like a small hands whatever it is they give it like a small hands they stick around and they build negative atmosphere around affecting other people who would otherwise give a testimony so this individual is very very sophisticated he keep the people around with idea to give the outside world idea that he is here actually to help that he's going to give something um, that he's going to contribute uh, that they're going to help if it's going to be like this but in reality here you don't hear this now because most of the people are at work right now the words are slashing the floor is shaking yelling screaming probably that goes beyond the one in Grotniki even at times um, completely unacceptable stuff stuff that I have not spoken about but I was spoken to know and it's also something I was told that you're gonna stick around here but the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cause you a troubles and nothing is gonna come out of this by Ukrainians alone here in this place now not everybody's like this probably about I say about 90% of the people here have a different views they're here to help they would help but it only takes 10% of those that do the stuff like this that spread this kind of atmosphere uh, losing kind of atmosphere uh, troubled atmosphere and the people alone who contributed to the cause feel that uh, the cause might not go through it might not succeed because you alone you're taking negative attitude that's for one thing uh, and so what they do is they try to cover their ass uh, imitating them and so on and so forth and so this is the stuff then the whole thing turns into uh, and so I'm not saying everybody is bad I'm saying 90% of the people are good but I have to state facts as are um, this headphones this was my surprise I would leave them in a bag would go inside of the kitchen it was not five minutes I left the bag inside but as I would return back the headphones already were destroyed and he was he was the one inside of the uh, inside of the room now what separates destruction of this headphones of this last headphones from other headphones that were destroyed from two other beautiful headphones I had that are also destroyed the new one might have been actually even replaced with a real one I had they do that stuff they steal it's all kinds of stuff that goes on pretty much you would return here to see your stuff destroyed modified and so on this would be like a main task for you to return to this place and it was like this all along from Grotniki from entry into immigration Polish system what separates the destruction of these headphones from two other headphones also destroyed at this place is a simple fact that individual anticipated and he also told me this under, under MKL trade is going to be the case they're going to modify the headphones in a such a way not destroy it completely so you would not hear but that you would actually have to like this you see when the, you know when you plug the jack inside and then you plug one out and it's like uh, it's about you see when it jumps out like this just on the brink when it's on the brink it's about the only time you can actually hear the headphones uh, working normally this is what it separates and he told me I'm gonna be inside of the room I'm gonna listen to stuff you will be recording you will be doing the stuff like this and once I hear you uh, any kind of recording from um, the hustle that you did the only thing it's gonna be it's gonna be panic I'm gonna spread around and you're gonna be out of the hustle you lose the money and you're out so this was the ultimate task of this creature here inside of this room with me um, now I'm gonna present you I'm gonna demonstrate you how this works for that matter I'm gonna use learn of a tablet this is the one right here so this is the this is the help I'm talking about this is how it all works you're gonna use this one here and what I will do I will use 
a recording like this, a recording of my own. Recordings which I actually use when I do this stuff. And also what I will do is I will remove this caps from headphones. So we'll place them next to the mic on a tablet. And then we're going to play eventually with Jack. So I can demonstrate to you uh, what basically what this looks like. And this is this was yet the most malicious destroyed on the second day a really beautiful headphones purchased in Carrefour uh, modified in a such a way that you're not gonna only lose money on a headphones but you're gonna get screwed you're gonna get kicked out of the place for doing the stuff that you should for the stuff that you are actually placed in here you're gonna get f like this this is how it works Not that I would be afraid of any of that stuff, because there's nothing these people can do. All these people are liable for what took place. This is one of the things. Uh, but it's not what I need right now. I have too many proofs. I have enough proofs for another two years. I can submit on a daily basis about what happened here. Uh, and the last thing I really need is some kind of a nonsense like this. This isn't doing absolutely any good for me. By the way, this thing here, the laptop, actually the fan is working, uh, but I don't know if I can demonstrate here if I already did this or not. It would not allow me under any circumstances to eventually to look, to even record uh, basically to save the video once I have created one in Windows Movie Maker which is quite outstanding the only thing that would happen is um, after like 30-40% of the movie saved the only thing would happen is it would freeze um, it would get hot and it would restart itself the computer itself the, the Windows and basically this is what it looks like I didn't lie uh, the thing is, I have so high this thing in my ears. This is was caused with the poisoning and with the radiation. I'm talking about the uh, limbs, glands. Um, that I could actually not even hear um, the fan when the fan probably did or did not turn it on itself I have no idea uh, this is how things are look this is what the keyboard looks like like this and basically when you type this is the same procedure like in Grotniki this is completely completely identical stuff we have completely completely identical stuff going on there is no difference between this one and between uh, then between the one in, 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 in Grotniki, uh, basically, what, what went on there. There is no, there is no difference. I'm going to demonstrate you with a ca uh, key, how, how, it, um, how it works, the keyboard. The keyboard was modified on a laptop. The keyboard was modified on a, uh, on a, on a tablet. As you know, how they destroy me the phones. The first thing they did, they destroy me the charging units. And it's the same thing they did here with uh, um, with the laptop. The laptop uh, it actually uh, charges itself and it stops charging itself. You're gonna see it charges itself and it stops charging itself. And the functionality of that is basically to, to drive person insane through uh, screen, dim screen, turning on and turning off itself, turning on and turning off itself. And this is the stuff uh, that was done um, already in a previous location in Kurak, where I was, in Zgirsh. Um, right now, uh, this is the first time, uh, actually, if you let co uh, battery to completely, completely drain, that it's like dead, zero energy in it, and then you power one, uh, what happens is, uh, the computer will eventually um, 
not doing this kind of dimming, uh, connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect, um, power saving options, of course, uh, you know, when it's charging and when it's not charging. Uh, but otherwise, if you would, if you were going to use, you, you can't, uh, eventually, uh, you cannot even get to the toilet, uh, that, uh, a laptop would just not go like, like this and it would die the battery and everything. So listen, I'm not going to even go into this stuff, the stuff they have done. What I need to demonstrate to you basically is this here. Um, And for that matter, I'm going to go here to Google and I'm going to type you a text so you can see what, when you type the text, what that looks like, how uh, you press one thing and the cursor jumps into a completely other location. Um, when doing this, they have actually removed the keyboard in a such a fashion that they would even break this thing here. This is cover. Um, they would sip me the trash inside in here in the screen that you see in a LCD screen. This stuff was done here, actually. Look, you see, this is inside the screen, and it's everywhere. It's everywhere. They sip everywhere this stuff inside. Inside. And it's, I was told they're going to do this stuff under MK Ultra. Uh, and so I just want you to see basically what that looks like. Uh, on a tablet, on a telephone, uh, actually on a on a tablet, if you would use one, uh, this sirens, this police, what they do is they come up to here, it's silent, and then they come up to this intersection and they turn the sirens on here, and then they speed up again and so on. And they would do this like frequently also at one, two, three o'clock in the morning. This is just a normal procedure. You know why this is a normal procedure? Because it's police alone that is doing this. It's a Polish police that is doing this stuff. Um, let me just write down uh, uh, a test. Let's take a test today for the month. Station I I'm not going to go into it I eventually have to devote this as a separate issue but when you type the only thing that happens is when I type blog and you have to do it like this in order actually for this thing to appear look If you don't, if you don't, it doesn't appear. So it's, it, you get used to doing this kind of stuff, actually, to doing this, because this is what, this is what this is, but this is not new. This is old already. They did to me this already in Slovenia. It doesn't matter. What is not modified, everything is fucked up uh, with one single word. They took care of everything. About the glands, about the police, in addition to what I have stated on my blog, about the poisoning, about the radiation, I, I am evolving actually too many issues, uh, but I'm just going to send a little signal to Americans. The only one who was purchasing, and I'm not going to say it's the only one who was purchasing, but you think I would forget this inside of this? All right. Oh, let me see this here real fast. No, it's not here. The one who is purchasing ginger, if you don't know, go to the store and look what that looks like. Uh, vegetable looks like. Were the first who was looking for that stuff were no one was no one else than Americans. This is about a poisoning and this is about radiation, and what actually is affected are glands. I don't have anything else in respect to this to say. It's really everything written here. I just purchased this ginger 
and when I brought one here, uh, it's a, such a funny looking thing, but it's good for the limbs, for the glands, that I just didn't have choice other than to purchase one in Carrefour in Carrefour, in Stokrotka, that's a store right across the street. And it's what they were all doing, this kind of stuff. Where these Americans are, these Americans are actually even working inside of the Fujitsu. Uh, for instance, the gentleman that I have demonstrated right here on my blog, the gentleman that I have demonstrated on the blog, who this gentleman is, this gentleman is American, unless they lied but from what i remember he's american um is bilingual american he is from this is actually no reason to be like this this is an individual right here that you see and he would do exactly as he promised he would uh he was the one known that he didn't wash pants and stuff like this but he would just rush around and do the stuff rather than to take himself hygienically and it was he demonstrated very very um for the locals who didn't go through anything very very unacceptable um approach toward environment here uh he's actually working if i understand properly in uh, Fujitsu building uh, and I think inside of the uh, actually Ericsson building in Fujitsu sales department because he's from Vermont uh, it's New England area where there's a lot of French speaking people in US and so this is why I'm pretty damn certain um, when I saw him uh, he did uh, like kind of unfriendly gesture but he said he's going to do this just so i would recognize him um i think he's a really nice guy yeah so this is yet another proof of mk ultra this individual was mk ultra staff member he was involved in mk ultra uh and basically this is what it is uh, is right there eventually you can see him how he carries the uh backpack and he's carrying this kind of backpack like this because we were told under MK Ultra uh, I was told under MK Ultra that I'm gonna have to get myself a backpack that is gonna be like this because it's gonna be good for my spine because my spine is gonna be broken I told you the Poland did the unimaginable crime ruined 25 years of life and proceeded for the sake of money to collect whatever they pay her from the West for this show, for this reality shit that Donald Trump does. Probably about 800, 850, and maybe even two billion dollars. It was all kinds of speculations for this one. And they proceeded with this for the money, and that's why I said the Jesus for sale. It is poisoning, radiation, spine breaking, and all kinds of other methods. And, of course, if you will, if you will, if you will, and everything they do, all kinds of abuse they did, everything was for my sake, everything was for the sake of me, for the help, to help me out. Everything is like this. This is, this is the way they, they operate. So, they learned uh, pretty good from their God uh, on how to stab people in the backs. This is really a real real. A real Polish culture this is what it is I was taught by a Polish farmer that this is not how it is on the village and this and that that outside of the city this is only done in a lodge lodge is big city this is where the deals get done oh okay so then that's okay if it's if it's just in lodge if it's just one city in Poland then that's okay and if it's just a big city and I guess that is okay then right and I guess if it's just done by a bad people, and then that's okay. And if this bad people are just a few politicians, and that's okay, because the rest are good, right? So that's okay then. All right, let's just proceed that with this thing here for me to demonstrate what exactly was done this here. 
in front of this individual who was inside of the room. Uh, I didn't lock the room and went inside of the kitchen. But even if you lock the room, they have, the neighbors have the key. Uh, you know what the funny concept about this hostel is, about this room, very room here? Uh, there is a rule that there is one key for three guys. So you have three guys and you have one key. Uh, not everybody gets his own key to lock behind him, but it's one key for three guys. And if you don't give the key to reception, if you happen to be the last, and you don't give the key to reception, there is a 50 zloty fine. Um, I didn't get this kind of fine yet, but they were playing with this kind of threats under MK Ultra uh, with Americans, and they threatened me also that they're going to do this, we're going to do this to you, and this and that. I did forget the key, and I did not get this kind of fine. But it's a bullying. You got to admit this is bullshit. You got to admit this is sadistic shit is what this is. You got to call it as it is. All right. Let's go to the business. Imagine to have one key and three guys. And you're doing all this stuff. And you need to worry about who is, where is, on the shower or in the kitchen or whatever he's doing. Rather than to close the door behind yourself when you go. Rather than concentrating on the stuff you do. You need to fucking worry about some kind of bullshit issues that you should never even worry about and stuff like this. All right, let's just continue with this. But not everything is so bad. There is a parking lot where the car that doesn't work is parked. Uh, and I understand the owner of this place and the owner of individual who sold me the car are really good friends, as they both told me. So you got to make sure that you don't say nothing bad about anybody uh, and so on and so forth. Let's continue with this. Uh, the first test I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight to the point and going to the point straight. It's going to be by my recording as normal headphones would operate. For that matter, I have, I have placed them headphones obviously inside of my ears now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start recording i'm going to place them right next to the microphone here then what i'm going to do is i am gonna simply pull the jack all the way inside as you see the jack is not jack is just on the brink right now and it can jump any time out if i would have the recording from anyone here from the hostel and this thing was jump out and i have individual who is here like a police inside listening what I do, uh, you can only imagine what exactly would happen next, right? So let's continue with this. You can clearly see that uh, it did record it. It did record it right there. You can clearly see this. Now what I will do, first what I will do is I will demonstrate you how easy you can you can be effed like this. That's all it takes. And you have individual listening to what you're doing. One time it came very, very close because he told me under MK Ultra this is what the case is gonna be. Uh, and well I am pretty conscious of what I do. I corrected the mistake immediately before it would be even too late. Now I'm going to pull the jack all the way inside and we shall see what exactly will happen. All the way inside, like in normal headphones. As you see, you don't get to hear absolutely anything. No? So this is what was done to the headphones. We didn't leave in my pouch for no more than five minutes inside of the room unattended. No? One day old headphones zip 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 like this. No? Now let's do the test. Uh, the tablet was modified already on the previous location prior to my arrival here at this location. Um, the tablet, what they have done to the tablet is, it's done in such a way 
that you record, you stop recording, and instead it's a previous recording that would show up. And if you just happen like you do on your regular voice recorders, Android, whatever it is that you have recording, you keep safe or you keep you press here keep as normally you would the only thing that happens is the current recording will replace the previous precious recording eventually you will get fucked twice not once i have lost a really really precious recording because of this stuff so you leave unattended your stuff you go to work you go to do the stuff you pay the rent in the freezing garage shower yourself with the water that is so cold that that it hurts when you shower yourself with one um and for the reward when you returned you get this kind of shit around you going so this is how it is so we want to make sure that we change the title so it's not going to write over this thing here and we're going to name one a z like this and we're going to keep this like this then we'll go here we're gonna open it and you can see the file right there this is the file az titled today's date And as I suggested, you can he clearly hear me you walking on the street. That, uh, it did record it. It did record it right there. You can clearly see this. Now what I will do, first what I will do is I will demonstrate you how easy you can, you can be effed. Like this. That's all it takes. And you have individual listening to what you're doing. One time, you came very, very... Because he told me under MT Ultra this is what the case is going to be. Uh, and, well, I am pretty conscious of what I do. I corrected the mistake immediately before it was even too late. Now I'm going to pull the jack all the way inside and we shall see what exactly will happen. All the way inside, like the normal headphones. As you see, you don't get to hear absolutely anything. No? So this is what was done to the headphones. Very nice. There's just one more thing we will do right now. We will do just what you are seeing here right now. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do keep like this. You were able to see it saved. Uh, what I suggested earlier shouldn't be done and I'm going to demonstrate you what exactly happened with the previous recording this we will do just what you are seeing here right now I'm gonna... you can clearly see that uh, it did record it maybe I was mistaken about this maybe I have not even lost those audio recordings I certainly hope so uh, but I am pretty certain that I did lost those audio recordings I am pretty certain that it did record it over I'm pretty damn certain uh, I am in fact very very certain about this because I think that tablet was modified again they knew about this stuff I'm going to be doing, and it looks like they have modified one back to something that's not supposed to be the case anyways. I never played with any kind of feature if this program does have them, uh, in case it does have them. Mm, that did confuse me just for a minute or two right now, what I did. When these people return back here from work, this is why it's so nice right now. It's 10 o'clock right now, and there is a date right there, you can see it. 
there is a slashing with the doors that is it's like Grotniki level uh, perhaps even worse it gets even louder than that smashing actually like this is quite normal here uh, talking loud talking all kinds of stuff goes on truly with people like this with the stuff like this to go on and it's enough that few are doing and the rest are silent and silent means to me compliant uh, you really really don't need no enemies we have seen enough of it uh, I am happy I was here that I got to see what this was where I was who got me in their hands uh, and so that it basically helped me out understand really what went on now I'm gonna go back to blog and yet have to publish news on Donald Trump who was the one who brought me to Japan first he was not first no he was not first I was there with others uh, I will not even say who whom but at one point I was there with Donald Trump too and when we returned back Mitch McConnell was laughing and I was told I'm dead guaranteed dead you dead you dead it's because I was really nasty to the daughter of a Japanese emperor and according to what Donald Trump referred to as Oriental Oriental culture Orientals uh, I was good as that walking man like this this is what Donald Trump assured as well that would happen to me uh, luckily for me I never was what Donald Trump tried to depict over there in Japan and in China uh, and it was not Donald Trump alone uh, this is like a pack of hyenas actually bloodthirsty hyenas just pushing you in a in a in a in a, in a situations that really really can turn you into a goat I don't have a good opinion in particular about the US government uh, I am extremely disappointed about the heads of the state in the US uh, for them to take this kind of attitude to torture uh, under MK Ultra, bring individual into another culture, present him into another culture is evil. Upon him being tortured and brainwashed and stuff like this, I really, really do not appreciate. I deeply respect the Japanese culture. Uh, and I can understand that, yeah, in their culture, something like this would be like the worst offense. Even like this, I feel really bad about it. And it's also Donald Trump, the one who steered the shit at Fujitsu with Fujitsu. It's not a secret that Donald Trump hates Asian people. This is not a secret that he hates, that he's a racist bigot, neo-Nazi fascist racist bigot. This is not a secret. The fact of the matter is that he used Pauls right here in Poland who for the most part wanted to help this is really young uh, vibrant group of people I met here in Poland I don't think they feel good about doing this stuff like this but I believe they had to do it whether they like it or not on behalf of Donald Trump so that I would you know as Donald Trump insisted be against the whole world uh, and so what I have written about the Fujitsu does not pertain to the real Fujitsu in Japan. This is the stuff that was organized. I'm talking about the negative stuff. Uh, Fujitsu people in Japan, to make myself clear, heads of the Fujitsu were interested in help. The one who practically saved my life uh, was Mr. Abe. Um, I will not state his last name because I don't want to disrespect him. 
Mr. Abe Shinzo, he wanted to have his first name and last name second. This is the man who actually saved my life, I understand, and, and I, really, I, I really believe, because I was so messed up in Japan that, and the whole thing did not make any, any sense at all, because I just happened to like uh, Asian culture. This is one of the things that I like. Chinese, Japanese is very interesting to me. I'm actually really looking forward to go and see it. Um, something I would like to do uh, but here's the thing uh, Donald Trump had an idea that along with Kaczynski along with Duda along with this racist fascists here uh, people whom Pauls should be really really concerned about because they even gestured they're going to give me the, the opportunity to revive Nazism, fascism right through the Poland. That they will give me the opportunity to uh, disperse guilt of Germans due to World War II, uh, disperse Hitler for his deeds against Poles by doing something so gruesome against me that they actually signed agreement with the Germans in respect to that so that I would be able to do the stuff like this. This never was my idea. I came to Poland with my best intentions to do something good for this country, but, you know, this is just uh, totally unacceptable. Either way you look, this is completely unacceptable. It's unacceptable also for Japan, and it's unacceptable also for other people. It's unacceptable for others that... Uh, who were involved in this stuff and they would become depicted like uh, to me under MK Ultra, whether you're going to see this as an enemies or uh, you know you're going to be seen as one and so on and so forth Fujitsu this was job stuff about attack Fujitsu in Fujitsu this does not pertain to Fujitsu Fujitsu is a clean honorable Japanese company that just found herself in a country like this number one and uh, under extremely corrupt circumstances and the number two so this is a warning you may want to look out really look out your backs to know really what goes on and number two a polish politician a failed american politician a criminal uh, i'm not going to go even into his details about donald trump and his establishment you know, this is a whole pack of hyenas like this they have uh, who believed that they will spill dirt and then me uh, against me and on Fujitsu and Japan and so on and so forth this was the foremost so my writing about Fujitsu does not pertain to Fujitsu I was actually even told that I should go and press a lawsuit against Fujitsu and stuff like this that I will make money and so on and you can see that they did few things over there that uh, it would look like uh, you know giving you some kind of uh, proof about something like this and this and that no this is just bullshit from United States of America from Mr. Donald Trump it's got nothing to do with Japan it's got nothing to do with the Fujitsu itself uh, and as far as the Chinese Emperor this is empress and emperor are the sweetest people i have ever met i think in my life uh the first time when i came i was shaking from fear uh when i met these people when i found myself i was shivering from fear i was like you would put me inside of the fridge i just found myself in a completely different element people and stare at me looking at me uh and it was this lady wife empress that she make me comfortable because she said um, that she will evaluate me and if she, this will not take place and only if she according to her if she will determine that i am capable to carry out something like this that i would be uh, well maybe they see this as a chance i don't know uh, helped basically and these people definitely did help me
and so this is how the relationship between me and Japanese emperor started sometimes in 1990-96-97 then I would return with Donald Trump and I acted like a clown like complete variac lunatic uh, insulting uh, you know changing my views um, with completely totally different attitude and so on and so forth and so for that matter I do apologize to Japan uh, to the Japanese Emperor these are very honorable people uh, regardless of the stuff I have caused and I want to thank Mr. Abashinza these people are still committed to help me out this is the truth this is the way it is yeah so now you see what this is this is this is this is the way this works um the polish paranoia didn't stop uh, they they parked japanese cars everywhere around me according to mk ultra i would go to japan and this and that um they have also schizoid about abduction to japan um me becoming japanese and stuff like this this is just sick shit that pertains foremost again to americans i don't even know who who but this is a sick shit that our culture our race i'm gonna say somehow mutually embrace this kind of uh this kind of attitude views and so i'm really really not proud about it i'm really really not proud about uh about the whole thing as whole this is so uh uh primitive uh they they don't do this stuff like this in japan this is not this is not their way this is not this is not in their culture they have they're they're past that uh, and so when you give people opportunity like this uh you know i'm not gonna say anything i mean the only thing i can do is what i did and just basically deliver the ultimate truth about this case